Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about why Jetpack is slowing down your website and how to fix this problem. So uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be posting more videos on optimizing your WordPress sites and making your blog a lot better. So guys, let's get right into it. Why exactly is Jetpack slowing down your website? Well, Jetpack is a very, very powerful plugin and a lot of bloggers and WordPress users like to install this plugin into their WordPress site because it does lots of things. As you can see here, it can handle your security. It can do, uh, handle backups, uh, anti-spam measures. It can uh, you know, optimize images, do lazy loading with images. It can make writing easier. It can add sharing icons. It can add uh, comments. Uh, to your blog where people can log in with their Google and Facebook account and finally of course all bloggers like site stats but the problem with Jetpack is is that it does so many things uh, right out of the box that it can slow down your site a bit so I'm going to show you guys how to make Jetpack faster right away and the biggest problem is, is that right out of the box Jetpack simply has too many uh, I guess you would call them modules enabled so I'm going to show you guys really quickly how to fix this problem. So you want to head over to your WordPress dashboard to so log into your WordPress site. And then you, after you install Jetpack and everything like that, maybe you instantly said, oh, it's so slow. So what you want to do is you want to go over here to Jetpack and you want to hit this settings. So you want to come to this section, right? Now what we're looking for is looking for a link called debug. So we want to head down here to the very bottom of the page and you want to click this. It says debug. So when we click debug, wait for it to load. Okay, so as you can see here, we click here, it says, are you in trouble with Jetpack? Your Jetpack setup looks okay. We want to head down here and click access the full list of Jetpack modules available on your site. Now, why do we want to do this? Well, Jetpack, uh, like many plugins, has certain modules that you can turn off and on based on what you need. So when you guys install Jetpack at first, it's going to have a lot of unnecessary modules activated. So as you can see, what I've done here is I've basically gone through the majority of my Jetpack modules and I've deactivated almost all of them because I just simply don't use them. So there are 42 modules in all, and the only ones that I've left are I've left uh, contact form, extra sidebar widgets, protect related posts site stats and subscriptions so guys there are different lots of different ones on here for example if you guys have a lot of comments on your blog and you have people commenting through Facebook and stuff like that you probably want to activate comments if you guys have a lot of pictures on your website and it makes the page slow you might want to obviously uh, activate lazy images if you guys uh, you know, I, I don't really have sharing uh, icons on this site because this is a finance site. But if you guys have a, a, a site where a lot of people are using social sharing buttons and things like that, you want to activate social sharing. So basically what you want to do is you want to go through each one of these modules and actually see if you need it. So if you don't need it, you just want to click, simply click deactivate and this will turn this off. So this is the one step that I took that sped up Jetpack so much because I love the plug plugin so much and I use it almost with every WordPress site because I love site stats and I love the few core things like related posts so I don't have to install multiple plugins. Jetpack is a great plugin. You don't have to install uh, you know, two, three, four, or five different plugins. You can use Jetpack. But it's also very powerful, so be sure to turn off the modules that you don't use. So that will give you guys an, a very quick boost in speed. And then the last tip I'm going to tell you is make sure you're your version of Jetpack is updated. So this is actually something that a lot of people forget to check and sometimes I forget myself because if you're managing multiple sites or perhaps you're not uh, checking in your WordPress dashboard every day, uh, you're just basically focused on uh, marketing your site on Facebook or something like that or you, you maybe only write once a week or once a month you want to make sure you update your plugins so the easiest way to do this is you want to head over to plugins you want to click install plugins and what this will do is it'll take you to all of the plugins that you use on your WordPress site and you want to make sure that they're all up to date so as you can see here I have one plugin that I don't really use much but I should you should always keep all of your plugins up to date because if you don't those plugins could be vulnerable to uh, spammers and things like brute force attacks and stuff like that where people can put malicious code into those plugins because they are not updated. So you want to basically go here and as you can see here, 
my version of Jetpack is updated, but if your version isn't updated, just click that update right there and it should update everything. So that's basically how you guys can speed up Jetpack and stop it from slowing down your website. I think it's such a powerful plugin. I don't, uh, some people like to just get rid of it, but I think it has so many cool features and it really saves on the amount of plugins. As you can see with this website, I only have 15 plugins installed and a lot of that is due to Jetpack where sometimes I see other people's sites and they have 20, 30, 40, 50 different plugins. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more interesting tutorials on WordPress and stuff like that. And if this worked for you guys, let me know what happened in the comments. And if you guys still have a slow website, just let me know and I'll do my best to help you out. So that's it for now guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.